Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Taffy. Welcome back to Taffy's Misadventures in Hearthstone, where I will attempt to not have my ass 150% completely handed to me. Uh, so let's go ahead and head into the arena. We'll have to pick a class and do some deck construction. Um, let's see, last time we went with... I don't know, I don't remember what we went with. Let's go with the mage this time. For it. Sure, let's do it. All right. Um, so what do we want? What do we want? We don't want the secret or the ancient watcher. I'm not a big fan We're, we're gonna do deck construction. So this is gonna take a while I'll have a little button down here. That'll have you be able to jump forward to where the game actually begins um All right, so we have Ma master swordsmith is okay ancient watcher I don't like because he's, he's good if you can silence him or if you can draw a taunt to him um, But otherwise it just kind of chills uh, Injured blade master deal four damage to himself, but you get a three mana card uh, that gives you uh, f a 4-3 on the board, which is not bad. Um, I want to be able to buff my stuff, so let's go Master Swordsmith to start. Uh, Ogre Magi, spell damage plus 1, Fireball is plus 6 damage, and then Flame Strike is deal 4 damage to all enemy minions. Uh, this is fantastic late game AoE board control. I need to know that I have it in my deck, even if it means uh, coming at the expense of passing up on these, because I like the, the Fireball as well. So let's go ahead and just make sure that that one's there. Uh, Booty Bay Bodyguard is a good taunt. Fairy Dragon is a great early game uh, pull because it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. And the Storm Pike Commando comes out and knocks out two damage. It, it's okay. Uh, I'd rather have either one of these. Um, I'm going to start with the Fairy Dragon. Boulder Fist Ogre is just a good mid-game tank. Uh, Kobold Geomancer is another... Eh, it's a two, two mana, one, one spell damage plus. And then the Dread Corsair... Uh, Costs one less than the... Okay, so that's a weird little uh, uh, addendum. Uh, it costs one less per attack of your weapon. We can't always pre prepare to have a weapon. We're, we're a mage, so this is no good, I don't think. So I'm going to go Cobalt Geomancer. Uh, I, I like knowing that I have my early game options out there. Uh, you know, there's nothing worse than, than picking all these sixes and sevens, and then later on... Uh, later on you get down to this end and there's just jack all there so uh, these are all good cards we already have a fairy dragon so I don't know if I'm gonna worry about another one just yet youthful brewmaster return a friendly minion from your hand to the battlefield that's a great option especially when you're playing big stuff or uh, powerful stuff right out of the gate you can hit it and bring it back and then play it up right over again if you want um, stormwind champion plus one plus one is a good card to have in the deck for late game I'm gonna go with youthful brewmaster for now I can't do any more twos for a while uh, voodoo doctor restore two health uh, uh, arcane missiles. I'm gonna go with that one because uh, it, it's something that you can pop nice and early, and that can. Uh, it, it's a little RNG, uh, but at the same time, you can actually remove some stuff uh, from the field. Well, all right. So mirror image is nice. You summons two zero two minions with taunt, and then it's also nice if you can throw out like some sort of across the board buff. All of a sudden, they get attacked. But uh, for a one mana card, you get two taunts that kind of give you time to set up a wall, and you can do your stuff behind it. Uh, Frost elemental is a freeze any character five five. Uh, I like the water elemental. I think I'm gonna throw it into the deck. It's a three six at four mana, and it freezes anything that it touches. It so it becomes uh, a, a bit of a headache to play against. Plus, we don't have anything in the middle just yet. So. I'm not going to build uh, a Murloc deck, so I'm not going to worry about it. Thralmar Farseer, 3 mana, has Wind Fury, 2 attack, 3 it is okay. If I'm going to pick a Wind Fury, let's go for a, a Wind Fury Harpy. It's a nice 6 mana, 4-5. Uh, that's a nice mid to late game attack. Harvest Golem's a good early early minion, and we don't have any 3 mana cards yet, so I might pull that one into the deck. We already just we already grabbed these two. Uh, let's go ahead and keep keep things even evened out a little bit Demolisher is a nice three mana card. It's such a wild card because you put it in at the start of your turn It deals two damage to a random enemy. It, 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 it's it's a constant threat because it's unpredictable uh, The ethereal arcanist if you see uh, yeah, if we have we haven't had a secret come up yet, so um, He's a badass if we have secrets, but we don't have any secrets yet And we've already said we're not doing a murloc deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the demolisher Huh Mana Worm, whenever you cast a spell, gain one attack. I wonder if that counts hero powers. I don't think it does, though. What a funky little card. We don't have a lot of early spells, though, do we? And I don't know that we'll pick up a lot of early spells. Um, Let's go ahead and go Sorcerer. Yeah, we got so many two-mana cards already. I'm going to go Boulder Fist Ogre for some beef on the back end. That last deck didn't have any late game threat. 
And we don't have enough spells early on to make me think that those uh, spell spell modifiers are going to be worth it. Loot Hoarder uh, would give me some card draw, but I just don't think I can pass up Spellbreaker, who's a silence, and silences become so pivotal in case we go up against another uh, spell heavy, or, or, or uh, it doesn't even have to be spells. You can silence taunts, you can silence any sort of battle cry, death rattles you can eliminate, so that's super useful. Mogashan Warden is a good taunt. It doesn't have jack all for attack, but it's got 7 health at 4 mana, so it takes a while to beat the shit out of it and really open up a, you know, a hole through which to, to penetrate, so to speak. I said it. Um, a 4 mana charge for a 2 attack, yeah, that's not so great. And the Mana Worm, we don't have any real taunt in our deck to speak of, so I'm gonna go with the Mogashan Warden. Ice Barrier, a secret. As soon as your heroes attack and gain 8 armor. Wow, that's, that's not a bad secret. Uh... Did we grab a loot hoarder earlier? We don't have any card draw yet. I've been just destroyed by mage decks that have a shit ton of tar card draw. It's made me think that maybe I've learned my lesson. Um, I don't have any weapons, really, to speak of. So, uh, do we want card draw or do we want ice barrier? We'll go with the secret. And we'll find. We'll try to find a place for card draw later. I'll probably go with the dragonling mechanic. Oh, well, I mean, I was just bitching about not having card draw, though, wasn't I? Huh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, since we have a lot of low low area minions, the flesh eating ghoul might be a good choice. The war golem is, is good. It's a good late late game item, especially if you can buff it a little bit. Um, this, especially if we're gonna have a bunch of like mid if you can get him out early and start knocking off minions, get him out behind a taunt wall or something like that. He's actually pretty nasty. I'm gonna go with him for now. Uh, the Mad Bomber, unpredictable. Fun to play, but not fun to play when he deals all three damage to, like, your hero or the only other minion y you have on the field. Uh, I was complaining about not having, uh, Taunt earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Iron Fur Grizzly for that. Um, I guess we'll continue. I'm gonna grab another Flame Strike. I'm not even gonna be apologetic about it. Just knowing that AoE lives in my deck is so ridiculously, uh... Rewarding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fireball here. Raging Worgen, Wind Fury, and one attack is good. Uh, Gnomish Inventor is good. I'm, maybe I should. I don't have a lot of, like, well, everything I've got at level four is a minion. Almost everything I've got at level three is a minion. So we're gonna grab the level four fireball. I know I've wanted one of those in my deck anyway. Uh, these guys are gonna be some of our nasty nasties. Uh, Violet Teacher, whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 Violet Apprentice. Um, Sunwalker is Taunt Divine Shield, which we may grab. Ravenhold Assassin's good. He's got stealth. He hits like a dump truck, but he's low health and he's another seven. Uh, I, I want to drag some stuff down into this area. So I think I'm going to grab Sunwalker for Taunt to find Shield to have some late game uh, board management options. Um, Oasis Snapjaw is a, a great throw him out there and beat him up, but I think I'm going to take the Sorcerer's Apprentice so I can get the, uh, the spell cost lowered in case we do grab some of this stuff. Uh, we can, we can get, a, get it at half price, I suppose. Or not half price, but one off. You know what I mean. Don't argue with me. Um, man, we have no five mana cards. Stormwind Knight once again, two attack, four with charge. Is uh, here, here, here. Dire Wolf, Dire Wolf Alpha. I really kind of want to get stuff in the early game buffed up so I can take control. So that by this time, hopefully, I won't need to worry as much about this back end. It hasn't offered me a whole lot in this area, so we'll take the Dire Wolf Alpha. We've got eight cards left. I want to get some fives. Thank God. Uh, Stranglethorn Tiger, stealth, we can put it out there, and, uh, it will not be able to be hit until we decide to remove its stealth, and at that point we pop that sucker up and kick something in the head. Dark Scale Healer, restore two health to all friendly characters. If I'm getting the shit slapped out of me, then that actually could be a better option, uh, just because, you know, obviously, it'll throw a monkey wrench in the plans of whoever decides to attack my side of the board. We are running awfully minion heavy in the threes and fours. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. What we got going on here? Uh, Mountain Giant costs one less for each uh, other card in your hand. Pyroblast is deal 10 damage. And then Hungry Crab could care less. Um, man, Pyroblast. That's so good. I might go with, uh, it's tough. It's tough because there's the Mountain Giant, and if we get him early, we could play him for as low as six or seven uh, mana if we hold on to cards, 
We don't have a lot of card draw, though. That's the problem. Um, let's go for Pyroblast. It's a big sort of... We're going spell heavy in this deck so far. Um, we're going spell heavy in this deck, and that's okay. We've got a lot of good early to mid minion range so that by the time we get done at the end, we won't have to worry about kind of what's going on in the field. We'll just nuke the son of a bitch. Um, give your opponent a mana crystal. That sounds horrible. Next secret you play costs zero for a Kirin Tormage. Deal two damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. That sounds like an amazing spell. Let's do Blizzard. Some mid game control. Molten Giant costs one less for each damage your hero has taken. Another Pyroblast. Um, it's a late game savior. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to assume that I'm probably going to be pretty beat up. I have a Pyroblast in the deck. Let's go with the Molten Giant for some real late game angry. Kona Cold, Elven Archer, and Frost Nova. Frost Nova frees all minions. Kona Cold's a really good board control item. Elven Archer might be nice because we don't have any early game minions. Hmm. Fa I mean, what good is that really going to do though? Let's go Kona Cold. We got three more cards. Uh. I might take a second Kona Cold. Let's take a Loot Hoarder for card draw. Two more cards. Let's do another... Oh, jeezy. Jeezy Pete's. Fireball. I don't know if I've done a good job with this or not. Crazed Alchemist. Okay, so Vaporize when a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. Could be a great late game secret. Crazy Alchemist swap the attention, uh, attack and health of a minion, which is great if they play like a 0-4 taunt or something like that. Uh, you can actually switch it and it instantly dies. Questing Adventurer is a cool card. You play it and then, you know, you hopefully have a lot of cards you can play around it. So you really build it up or you hide it behind a taunt wall and it allows itself to kind of snowball out of control. Maybe for late game this would be a good card. Let's do late game secret. Whatever. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have no idea what kind of a deck I just built. I don't know. Let's give it a swing. That's a crazy peaks and valleys. We're going to be kind of dicked around 5-6 if we don't come up with something good. I, I, it's, that's the first deck I've ever built while trying to explain it out loud. The last deck I just kind of went, yeah, I like that card and that card and that card. And I won the first two. If you if you haven't seen it, I went two and three. I won the first two handily and then just got my ass handed to me three games in a row. All right, so here we go. Jaina. We got Dracolich. He's playing a druid. I must protect the one. You sure must. You asked for it. And you sure did. Um, our, obviously we don't want Flame Strike, and the Mogashan Warrior or Warden is actually a little bit early on. So let's see about getting two more of those. We got a lot of early and mid game stuff. That's good. I like that. That's that's all right. Let's be polite. Hello. Got an early Sunwalker, which is My not greeting. Uh, super useful. I'm going to hold on to Arcane Missiles because it doesn't do me a whole lot of good to hit him three times. We'll just end our turn. I'm not willing to play that right now. There's really no point to it. If I hit him, at some point he's probably going to heal himself up. I would rather use this when there's minions on the board so I can hopefully hit them as well. Uh, that said, he didn't play a minion, so we're good. That means we get first minion on the board. We'll do the Cobalt Geomancer uh, and get get things rolling hopefully it's smart to take board control early and just try to hold on to it as long as humanly possible I had some people ask uh, the to explain the game and I'll do the best I can pint size summoner is a pain in the butt um, so you have uh, the attack of a card and the health of a card when cards attack each other if they can hit but they also get hurt when they hit so I would swap these straight across basically and I probably will um, huh here's what we're gonna do arcane missiles Excellent. We got the spell power uh, boost from Cobalt Geomon Master. That usually only fires three, uh, but this time it fired two. Or, I'm sorry, this time it fired four because we had the plus one spell damage. So we get to keep our minion, we eliminate his, and we hit him a bunch of times too. So, uh, your cards have attack and health. Attack is the yellow, health is the blood drop, this is the sword. When you attack, you also take the damage of whatever cards you're attacking, so you have to do a lot of math about, you know, can I hit something that's 2-2? Two, two? Well, yes, I can, because I have two health, but they'll, they'll both die. You don't take damage when you hit the enemy, and hmm. you actually, uh, you actually, uh, uh, you don't take damage when you hit the enemy. 
I don't know where I was going with you, actually. I'm, there's so many things going on in my head. This is so much harder than the good guys make it look. Um, so yeah, that's the coin. You get that when you go second. It's an extra mana crystal for just one turn. All of your... Speaking of the Mogashan Warden. Um, I have a fireball. I might just get rid of him. I'm probably just going to get rid of him. My other option is to put the Spellbreaker on the board. That gives me a 4-3 minion. Uh, and I don't have to worry about his taunt. I mean, he can hit me as much as he wants. He's only got one damage, but he also could buff that up, so it might just be smart to get the hell rid of it. Especially because I have the Cobalt Geomancer on, mm. out there with the plus one spell damage. This is normally only uh, six damage, so I actually would get rid of his taunt. Um, that said, man, it's a lot of mana to spend for a shitty taunt character like that. You get one card draw every turn. Minions have to wait a turn before they're viable to uh, attack. You'll see the little green circle around them. Hero powers right here. Uh, mana crystals down here. Cost of the mana up in the corners. I'm going to burn this guy down. Our health is in the bottom here. His, uh, his hero power is to take one attack where he can actually attack as his hero. Um, and he gets one armor. We can't attack unless we have a weapon equipped. You'll kind of get a feel for it if you just watch enough of it. And then it's just turn-based, uh, turn-based mathematic, uh, hmm, I wonder. card play game. It's just, it's a fun game, man. Let's see, okay, so he's gonna give, uh, hero power. He's gonna attack the Cobalt Geomancer. He's probably got some sort of weak AoE, some sort of weak board clear. Yeah, he, he wanted desperately to get rid of that Cobalt Geomancer. Uh, which is fine. I got terrific value out of it, and he still has nothing on the board. So, I don't want to play my Spellbreaker, because I, honest to God, don't want to lose. That's an am amazingly valuable battle cry. So, I think I'm going to play the Ice Barrier, and I'm going to play Dire Wolf Alpha. What to do? And we'll get... What to do? Wait. Or do I want to... Do I want to hit him? Do I, nah, I mean, I don't, hitting him for one doesn't gain me a whole lot. This gains me essentially 8 health when he decides to attack me, but he doesn't know what's going on because it's a secret. It's, it's explained nothing to him except for that I've played a secret, which means that there is uh, an action that will occur the moment that he acts as a catalyst for it. But he doesn't know what action he does that, that triggers this, that he, he likes the fuse for. So, uh, get behind me. He brings out the Booty Bay Bodyguard. 5 health, or 4 health, 5 attack. It's a decent, decent taunt. Um... I'm tempted to bring out my Sunwalker, who has Taunt and Divine Shield. Matter of fact, I may actually do that. He'll kill the Dire Wolf next round. There's not a lot I can do about that. I wonder. I could just bring out the Spellbreaker and silence his Taunt, but I feel like the silence would be better served anywhere else. And this guy, I could use to one-hit kill the Booty Bay Bodyguard and still have a 4-5 Taunt on the board next time around. Provided he doesn't come after me and I mean if he trades out he trades out, but I have to dump divine shield So he won't yeah, this is probably a better call Truth is my shield. I'm actually gonna let him decide does he want to attack the dire wolf alpha or does he want to attack? The Sunwalker. Well, he can't he has to attack the Sunwalker. So he's kind of boned until he figures out something I'm gonna end my turn there It does me no good to sacrifice this wolf to kill him because I can just as easily kill him here and not lose anything because the divine shield gives you uh, you can do your attack and not take the damage, and then the shield goes away, and then you're just a 5-5 character. So this is a, a sticky spot he finds himself in, but he has huge card advantage. I have a health advantage in board control for the moment being. I'm interested to see how he decides to handle this. Because I'm running a little low with cards in my deck. I have okay cards here, but... He puts out a second taunt. Okay. Building himself a taunt wall here. He's gonna buff him. He is gonna buff him. He's gonna buff up the booty bay bodyguard. Do you need a blessing? And he's gonna put out a young priestess. I go for a flame strike right about now. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. So I can put out the flesh-eating ghoul, and shit will start to die, and it will buff itself up. Uh, and then I can follow that up with either the Mogashan Warden, or I can silence... It won't matter, the taunts that he's given. I only silence the stuff in the writing of the card, not I the stuff wonder. on the banner underneath. 
Um, okay, so I can put out the Mogashan Warden and the Flesh Eating Ghoul. That gives me a second level of Taunt Wall. And while stuff is dying, this will be actually be gaining some strength. Um, I could put out Silence, which wouldn't do me a whole lot of good because the blessings are already sort of on those things. Could ping this and kill it because frankly it's going to be a huge pain in my ass until I do and I probably might as well just go ahead and do that. It'll mean that I can only get one thing out this turn, uh, which might have to be the uh, Flesh Eating Ghoul and then I can put the Mogashan Warden up behind it next turn. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the Young Priestess first. She's gone. Time runs out on me. And I guess it'll just have to be the flesh eating ghoul. Which I should have put on the other side of the dire wolf alpha, but that's okay. Um and do I wanna hit something? I do. Justice shall prevail. There we go. So he's got a 6-7, he can very easily get rid of my taunt, I can replace it, that's fine, and I can kill it the next round, too, which I'm okay with. Uh, it, it didn't snowball out of control, but it got, it got to be problematic. So we'll see what he decides to do, and I will see about maybe starting to hit him instead of going after the minions, because I, I have a pyroblast at 10. Uh, if I can get him down to 10 health, I can win whenever, whenever it comes to it. So if I start hurting him, I have to know that, A, I have 38 health, because he doesn't know about my secret. He hasn't tried to attack yet. I'm going to get 8 armor the moment he decides to attack hmm. me, so if I can whittle him down to 10, I win. I'm kind of glad I didn't load the board up, because I, no I, don't, I don't know the characters well enough to know what their AoE board clearing stuff is. And I certainly don't know the druid well enough. It seems like that's maybe the hmm. one, the one thing that I haven't watched nearly enough gameplay of to know what it does. Waits for no one. He's not doing a lot. What's he doing? Deal five damage. All right, that's pretty clever. Good for you. Fortunately for me, he takes his taunt down to one. Hell, I can ping that with my hero power and not even have to worry about. Okay. All right. So he gave himself 7 health for a taunt, which is fine. At this point, I really will uh, probably... Ugh. I really will probably put the silence on him so I can attack past him. At that point, he's a, he's a moot entity. I could care less about him. Uh, take your one damage and your new ball and go home. I'm done with you, kid. Uh, so let's let's silence your him. Magic shall not save you. Wow. It took him back to full health? Are you serious? Huh. Huh. Alright, well, we gotta get the taunt out now. I didn't know it was gonna do that. This guy's just a 2-2. Two -two. I didn't realize that once I took all that off, I thought he would be... When I left him, he was at 1-7. Well, that was a mistake on my part. I think. I don't know. I probably can still hurt him. I can get rid of him with the Spellbreaker now pretty easily. Hmm. It's not kind of how I wanted to do that. If he starts beating on me, I guess I always have a Molten Giant to fall back on. I just got to hit him a few times. Like, honest to God, one one pass with another minion and Pyroblast, and he's a goner. I'll hold back on Pyroblast, and I can drop Molten Giant if he starts kicking the hell out of me. He does not have good board control. Hmm. And eventually, he and I are both going to be top decking. But I'm going to be stuck with one extra card in my hand, because I'm not going to be able to play that Molten Giant. Oh, I didn't realize it was my turn. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was still on my turn. I guess I, I, I thought he was up. So, well, we did what we had to do. I guess it gave me extra time to explain. And I apologize, so. There you go. Hello. I broke it. This is why we can't have nice things. A flame strike would go a long ways towards making me the happiest, happiest kid on the block right now. Wow, he's playing a lot of stuff. He's coming at me. All right, bro. Can't do that. I know you want to. There you go. He's gonna clear out the board a little bit. I'm still not in a horrible place. I'm not I'm not giddy about how that panned out. Um. Hmm. All right. Well. Huh. This is problematic. 
I put Iron Fur Grizzly out, he's going to hit him with the Booty Bay Bodyguard and finish him. I wonder. So, and I'm not about to, I'm not going to play this Pyroblast until I know it's going to benefit me uh, greatly. So, worst case scenario, this is our, this is our, our Defcon 6 or whatever the hell it is. He starts kicking our ass, we put out the Molten Giant, managed to get like one hit on him, and then it's Pyroblast City, and you can go straight to hell. So, I'm going to put out my Taunt, and I'm going to hit him straight, and I'm going to start to whittle. Um, because it's not going to last eight turns, but at some point I'm going to be able to get a pop shot on him. Um... And that's going to be, like, it's a race to 10. i got to get him to 10 before he gets me from 38 to 0. So we'll see. That was the silence on the Booty Bay Bodyguard, man. I didn't realize it would take his health back to normal. That just... Someone will have to explain the math on that to me, because that didn't make sense. I, I won't ever do it again. Um, it would have behooved me to just kick the shit out of him. But I didn't want to wait that many turns to do it. I wanted to get past him and start taking shots on Malfurion himself. I feel like I bought this guy Where a second life. I strike? Okay. He's gonna come at me, that's fine. Buy me eight, uh... Buy me eight armor, bro. Just me and Mr. Wow, I need a flame strike in the worst way. Flame strike, taunt. Any of that late game stuff that I said I had. Oh, this is uh, almost it. Um, okay, what do I do? I ping him. I ping him for one. I fireball him for six. That's seven. Hmm. I hit him with pyro blast for ten. That's seventeen. And if he doesn't kill me this round, which mathematically I don't think he can. Five, seven. 11, 13, 14, 15. He can't. He can't kill me. There's no way he can kill me. We win. We win. So we go there, there, and next time we kill him. And we just rush him down. Unless this is a nature will rise Unless this is a crazy card. Well played. He's threatening me now, which is funny. Come get me. Come on. Line up your pretty ladies. There you go. Big scary man. Oh no, he got the armor though. That's a problem. That's a problem. Alright, well here we are. Hmm. Shit, he's got us now. Damn! Hmm. His hero power. I totally forgot about his hero power. I think we've lost. I think we just lost. Okay, wait. Five, seven. Two more. Five, okay, five, seven. Plus two. I wonder. Five, seven plus two is nine. Plus two is eleven. Plus eight. Yeah, he's got us. He's got us. That's it. Shit. Job done. Well played. God dang it. We came up one short. Hmm. Well played. We came up one short. That sucks. And it's all because I messed up. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. It's all because I messed up that one silence. Oh, it's so disheartening. Oh, that's so disheartening. God bless. Alright, well, let's jump right back into it. Oh, that's irritating. And while it's searching, I'll to check on time. We'll do one more. We'll do one more and we'll see how we, like, leave off. Oh, that's so... Grr, grr. Howl and roar. I forgot about his hero power giving him one armor, man. We had him. Ultimately, though, I mean, I would have probably been rushed down anyway because I would have used the fireball and the pyroblast on minions, and I at that point would have been top decking against three or four of his minions, and I would have had to have come up with something good. And I really didn't. I came up. I came up with what? I came up with the demolisher. All right, here we are. 
You asked for it. Well, I'm gonna have to reroll all these. Hey, a blizzard would have been nice that round too. All right, we'll get rid of all of those. None of those are good early game stuff. Oh, I actually have a headache now because I'm just so I'm so disheartened that we messed that up. These are good starting cards. I'll take those. Shut up, phone. Nobody's talking to you. Uh, in turn, man, oh man, what's going on, Swagtown? Hello. <laughs> Greetings. Hmm. Thought we had it. Oh, I'm so irritated. Let's get the uh, the fairy dragon out. Can't be targeted by hero powers, and it can't be targeted by spells. Um, it's irritating for him. He has to do physical damage to it, so he either has to hit it, or he has to uh, hit it with a minion. So, um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's put that out first. It's a it's a solid two mana play in the early game. I'm reeling. I'm still mentally just frustrated because that was my own miscalculation. Huh. All right, well, you know what they say, when in Rome, finger a duck. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What is this? That would have been handy, too. Would have been a huge fan of that showing up last game. Um, Fairy Dragon, I think I'm going to trade straight across from the, for the Tauren Warrior, and then I'll probably put the Cobalt Geomancer out. Um... And if we get spells that we want to use, we can from there on out. But there's no point in using the, uh, the youthful brewmaster because I'd love to get the effect of his uh, of his uh, battle cry. I would love to be able to, to use that to some advantage later on. So uh, let us go ahead and just trade that. And we'll go cobalt geomancer. We will rally, we will destroy Swag Town, and we will feel better about ourselves. Smart move on his behalf, fire to War Axe, a solid weapon. He takes a little bit of a ping off of that. Uh, he takes a little bit of a ping off of that from uh, doing damage. Uh, the durability goes down, but he gets to do three damage. He takes ping, uh, ping to his own health. So, um, I don't know. I guess I play Vaporize. Um, what to do? I don't want to play. Do. I don't want to play Spellbreaker because I really don't want to lose his. I don't want to lose his effect. So maybe we'll get a nice five mana card, uh, or something. Maybe we'll get a nice five mana card in here, or something we can play next round. Alarmo bot. You know what that tells me is that he's got a big minion in his hand. He's trying to get out. So, um, we are going to silence it. And then next turn, we'll bring it back with Brewmaster, because I don't want to lose the silence. Um, start of the turn, swap out this menu with a random one in your hand. So that means to me that he's what got something to big do. out that he wants to get what out. To so we are going to silence it. Your magic shall not save you. And then... And then... Um... What the hell? Done. And then we'll just ping it. I don't know. That probably wasn't the best move. He might hit the Spellbreaker. If he doesn't, that's fine. Uh, uh, he's probably going to hit the Spellbreaker. I'm going to lose the Spellbreaker, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah. Ultimately, I shouldn't have done that with the Alarm Robot, because it's going to sit out there, but it can't do anything. It, does, it has no health. It has no damage. It was a stupid use of Arcane Missiles, in retrospect. Um... I think now is probably a good time for our Sunwalker. We get Taunt Divine Shield, so it's basically something that goes out there with 10 health and 4 attack. Um, alternatives, mm. we do Boulder Fist Ogre, which is not a bad play either. Um, but I think this is a more dominant early early play for six for straight out of the gate with 6 mana crystals. Loot Hoarder, okay. Uh, Youthful Brewmaster, no point. I don't, it does me no good to really ping anything except for the alarm of bat. An error. I wonder. Let's go ahead and play that. Is my shield. He's got a card advantage. I've got a slight health advantage, but as we saw in the last game, that doesn't really matter. I didn't end up with nearly enough card draw, but it, it didn't give me a lot of card draw options. So that will take off our divine shield, which is unfortunate. It also gives him card draw, which sucks. That's fine, I suppose. It is what it is. Acolyte of Pain. Good card. I wish we had been offered that one. 
This one has charge, so he's gonna come right at me and try to r rush me down. He's gonna get rid of that card. He's gonna deal. He's gonna have done away with three cards to get one of the, to get rid of that one, and we're gonna get rid of rid of the acolyte of pain. So that's nice. He'll get one more card draw out of it, but he spent a lot of cards to basically start fresh, um, and I'm okay with that. I really am. I feel I feel all right about the way that panned out. So, um. I think we just boulder fist ogre, and we end our turn. Uh, and so, essentially, he cleared out his side of the board, and he cleared out my side of the board, and I come right back with a 6-7 critter. And he comes back and hits the shit out of it with a gore howl. What a great pickup for you there, big guy. And it loses attack every single time. Uh, I mean, he took a ma massive hit with that, so... Uh, every time he hits a minion with that, uh, the damage on, or the damage on it goes down. So now it's a six. If he hits me with it, it goes away. Um, so I, I may. What am I gonna do? I am gonna. I'm gonna. Th I think I'm gonna make him start to worry about it. I think I'm gonna go loot hoarder. And I'm gonna hit him. And we're gonna make him start to think about it. If he's gonna sit there and whack minions, then I'm gonna make it really costly for him to do so. And he's gonna have to hero power, which is two mana off of every time he rolls. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. We we we're minion low right now, so we need this to be a good draw. He takes another two pop off of that. Kona Cold, we might have to use that. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Our spells cost less. So what can we do here? We can hold everything in place. I mean, we're controlling, basically. We're controlling uh, the board as best we can. He's going to keep whacking minions with that thing. We got, I mean, his health will keep going down, so I guess... What we can do is we'll hit it with the Cone of Cold, and then we'll have the Blizzard to put out in case he puts more minions out. And we'll just keep kind of whittling away and hope that we get a big mm. card. Um, we're we're kind of we're, we're kind of top decking at this point. So let's Kona Cold. I probably should have played the Sorcerer's Apprentice before I did that. That was pretty stupid. Um, and we'll go ahead and actually we won't ping him. We'll get rid of uh, that guy. So that's all right. That wasn't the end of the world. I didn't lose any. Uh, play there because of that. He's gonna keep coming at us with it. That's fine. He's losing health. I... I'm not giddy about it, but we're gonna, we're gonna need to get lucky. We're gonna need to get a little bit lucky. So, uh, and that is uh, pretty fortuitous. That said, I'm gonna hold on to it. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to it. I still don't want to play the youthful brewmaster. I got it. I got to get something on the board. I got to keep. If he wants to keep hitting our stuff, he can keep hitting our stuff, man. Um, youthful brewmaster is fine, and we'll play that, and we'll get rid of that minion. We'll end the turn. And he keeps clearing out our side of the board, and we're in deep crap. All things considered, but I mean, we, I'm, I make no bones about the fact that we're gonna need a little help. We're gonna need something to come off the top of the deck here. Uh, Pyroblast ends it. Um, well, not anymore. That's a uh, that's a My that's a mistake I gotta quit Argus. making. My shield for Argus. This is great. We're gonna clear out his side of the board and also have a harvest golem. Good, 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 good. So let's do that. Let's clear out his side of the board. And Harvest Golem. And that'll have a Death Rattle, so we get a minion on top of that. So if he wants to keep hitting stuff and taking damage, he's more than welcome to. And we'll just have to hope against hope that something good comes off the top of the deck, because that's just kind of where we find ourselves. You shall not pass. That's okay by me, man. Do what you gotta do. Come at me, bro. Do you like to play with fire? Still got something. It's not nothing. That thing's gonna come in handy here in the not so distant future. Uh, I guess we go ahead and hit that. 
because why not? We might as well. Um, do we ping him? I feel like we ping him. Or do we ping... That's going to clear out every, everything. So if we hit him once and he does damage to all minions, he'll get rid of himself too, which is fine. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll end turn. I mean, there's not a whole lot else we can do. We're, we're not at a crazy disadvantage, but it will very much matter. Um... It will very much matter here pretty quickly uh, what comes off the top of the deck. We need help. I don't feel like a lot of our late game stuff has come off. Um, he continues to help us a little bit. Brings out Arcanite Reaper. That's bad. He's going to start whacking the shit out of us now. Alright, so there's our Pyro Blast. I don't think I'm going to use it yet. I don't think I'm going to use it yet. I'm going to let him think that he's got me cornered. And then I think the moment I can get a decent hit... Oh, Wait, 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 wait. This is it. That's game over, right? Oh, that's game over. What to do? What well to played. Do. Well played. Good night, Grace. Yay, we win. I don't think we get a well played, though. Sorry, Swagtown. Oh, I feel good. I almost missed the math on that. All right, good. Uh, so yeah, we'll finish one and one with the deck construction on this episode about a half hour. Not too bad uh, Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been uh, Taffy's Misadventures in Hearthstone uh, Episode number two and I'm, ha I'm having the time of my life with this game, man. I'm so happy um, Anyway, I hope that you got uh, your code from Northern Lions live streams last two days He's given away 20 of them. I wish I had friends at Blizzard um, but yeah, man, if you can get your hands on this, I hope that you do. I hope that you don't pay for it, because that's a douchey thing what's going on to people out there with that. Uh, either way, though, uh, thank you for tuning in. On behalf of the Mr. Wolfles channel in the cave, my name is Taffy. I will catch you next time, and I am out. <laughs>